welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are diving into Tana because this, uh, or Tana actually released today and it is live on Product Hunt today as of me filming this video. So probably yesterday as of you seeing this video. Uh, I am trying to film my videos in advance but it is really hard when like productivity news seems to be popping up everywhere but uh, back to the point in today's video we are talking about Tana who uh, Tana is for their pricing my thoughts on it and how it has changed since the last time I reviewed it which wasn't too long ago I think it was back in December but a few things has uh, have actually changed inside of the application uh, I'm going to talk about those I'm going to talk about some of the issues with Tana but but uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about is actually the pricing plan because that is really important to a lot of people. So let's uh, start off here. It has monthly or yearly pricing, uh, and, and it actually has um, it actually has three different pricing plans. One thing that is a little weird about the pricing plan is that. Uh, you first have to do the trial before you can get the free plan. It isn't that big of a deal, but it is something that I haven't seen in uh, any other application, or uh, at least not in many other applications. With this, you get all the Tana editor capabilities. You get up to 20,000 nodes, five installed templates, two workspaces, uh, published pages, up to 0 0.5 gigs file storage and five megabytes file size uploads that is the free plan so that does not cost you anything but they also have a plus plan uh, which is eight or ten uh eight or ten dollars each month depending on whether or not you want to bill it yearly or monthly but this um will give you AI chat with your content so you can actually chat with your notes which is a feature that more and more applications are getting. You have auto transcribed voice recordings from mobile, you have google calendar sync, you have meeting agent, live transcriptions, uh, desktop six languages audio enabled super tags and fields unlimited custom super tags unlimited notes unlimited shared workspaces unlimited templates installed and here you get 50 gigs of file storage uh, with add-on for more with the um, pro plan which is 14 or 18 dollars uh, each month again each month again depending on whether or not you want to pay yearly or monthly you get more uh, ai credits you get uh, creating command nodes create and share templates use events for automations readwise integration input api access unlimited file storage and unlimited file size upload so um Basically, major differences is that uh, you get unlimited of everything here uh, and also the AI credits. I know that the Readwise integration and uh, uh, events for automations is something that people also do like, but how much is actually 2,000 or 5,000 AI credits? So approximately one of these, either 500 min of meeting, 15 image generated, 225, five blog posts generated i will show you this as well so uh 570 125 000 min meetings and uh, 1065 minutes of voice transcription that basically covers the pricing plans of this and i think it is quite fairly priced i think it was a little expensive previously but with the addition of the plus plan i think this is um I think the pricing is quite good on this compared to the rest of the productivity app market. When it comes to the application, I will go over some of the basic features. So here we have a workspaces. I actually have two, one for testing and one I actually use myself. You have the ability to connect your uh, Google Calendar to sync that up. I haven't done that. Uh, but you also have uh, backslash commands here. You can start a live transcription. You can have a checklist, check boxes. You can add an image or you can reference something else. You can also press control K. Actually, that does not work on here, but you could press control K and uh, you would get your uh, 
uh, your commands, all of your commands right here, but to access some of the ones you will be using uh, quite frequently, you can actually do um, do backslash and uh, for example search for a node you can also set it up so that the command k actually works that is something i have been planning to do for a while now but i haven't uh, and it is an issue i have with a lot of different applications but um, here you have your daily pages and here we have some of the main things that makes talna really really good uh, the idea here is that I can capture everything. So let's say I wanted to take out the trash. That was a task I had. Uh, and during my day, I have I just captured a lot of things. So another one would be Tana video. That is a YouTube video I'm going to film. I could go on and I could add these tasks. So uh, test three, this is a note. Actually, let me just call it a note note uh, about meeting with person uh, and I could actually jump uh, into here later and I could process uh, all of this at once and what is uh, the main selling point apart from all of the AI stuff which is really cool is the just the ability to add hashtags uh, which are basically objects if you're familiar with object-based note-taking so this is uh, a to-do this is a task i've gone ahead and i've set these up so you can see a lot of them are right here uh, as you can see a lot of tests one uh, a lot of take out the trash for videos i've filmed but basically uh, quickly by adding uh, adding a hashtag you can actually organize these uh, and I can do this with uh, I think I've called it resources and you can decide for yourself what you want to call all of these but if I just click my social media posts you can see my social media posts I can press view options to change the way I see this so I can see it as a calendar a table uh, or uh, I can also see it as uh, cards, which I showed you, lists, calendar, it all depends. And I can add multiple different views as well, but I can also go in here and let's say I want to find my to-dos. I can do search nodes. I can pick one, um, one of these and it will show up right here. I can change the views inside of here as well. I can change the name of this. So I can change that as well. There are a bunch of things you can do here and I have a few pinned right here. So here I actually have uh, my test task. I have a list of to do's here with all of the items being filtered out. But if I jump into here, I can also add uh, properties, things like, uh, I'm actually not sure what property, what options I have here. I have going to do, uh, this is a personal thing. And the due date is tomorrow and it is referenced in a couple of places i will show you how the referencing referencing works as well uh, so if i click at i can actually do tests i think i have one uh, so my internet isn't working currently you just saw one of the issues i have with talna and that is that the application is uh does not have any offline functionality. So when your internet struggles, that happens. Uh, but uh, more on that later. Basically, what I can do is that I can have one thing live in multiple different spaces. So let's say I had project A with the task take out the trash. I could actually add the task right here. So let's do take out the trash like this and it could live multiple different uh, places if i now open this up you can see that it appears in project a as well this also shows unlinked mentions basically what unlinked mentions are is a way for you to see uh things that aren't actually linked but have the same name so if i had something that had the same name i could actually link it uh like here but this doesn't work because this already has a tag in order for this to work the linked uh, node cannot uh, have uh, children or have children or uh, be a template so um, that is uh, 
why this doesn't work right there. If all of this sound confusing, it is because it is a little confusing, but it makes a lot of sense once you get really into it. Uh, but basically the selling point, the idea is that you can easily have like, you can easily uh, write things and then quickly uh, organize them by just tagging them. And with the tags you get things like uh, different, um, different properties which you can add things like that. So that is why someone would choose an application uh, like this. That is the main selling point and the AI stuff, of course. So you have the ability to chat with your notes. You have the ability to use notes inside of your databases. One thing I saw someone do is with their books, um, they had like a summary of the book or the author name, I think it was. And they used AI to fill out all of the author names, for example. I've seen a lot of different ways of doing uh, AI inside of this application. So that is also a really big selling point of Tana. And of course, I'm not able to cover all of the things in this video because Tana is such a complex and big application. So there are so many things to cover, uh, but I've tried to cover some of the basic functionality, uh, some of the functionality you will get in the free plan. If you want me to do an in-depth video, I don't think I've used up my free trial yet. Uh, I think I might do that uh, at some point, but uh, I think Tana is going in the right direction uh, and many of the things they do, I think um, it makes me believe much more in the application for uh, several different reasons. The main ones is that they are making it simpler to use and they are adding a lot of AI, which I think will be important in the future. And I think making it easy to use uh, is really really important it is much easier than i for than when i first tested it out uh, back in i think it was early 2023 uh, it is much easier it is much better uh, and i think they're doing a lot of things right it is still an application that is tailored more towards like busy professionals uh, and uh, people in the PKM space, but mostly I would say busy professionals that are looking for a note-taking application that is quick and easy to organize. People that does not uh, do not want to use a lot of time organizing and rather want to spend their time taking notes and finding them whenever they need to. I think that is the people Tana is trying to get. But that covers it for today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.